Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about contributing to a project. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I am losing my motivation in a project that I am part of and it is becoming more difficult to continue working on this project and I feel like I'm not contributing to the highest extent that I can. Do you think that I should quit and does this make me a bad developer? In a word, no. It makes you an average developer. So here is a good example I think of the difference between what the industry considers to be a rockstar programmer and an average one. And that is, well, it's one part, of course, your skills. I mean, you don't, we, we can't evaluate your skills based on a bit of text uh, or a message like this. But uh, let's say for the sake of argument that you are really, really skilled and you're extremely talented and so forth. And you simply don't have the enthusiasm. Well, that's going to make you a good developer, but you're not going to be a rock star super program or anything like that and to be fair most people don't actually know what that is in to to start off with but no this the, it does actually not make you a bad developer it's as i said it's actually the norm the vast majority of developers don't give two shits about uh, the project that they work on well i wouldn't say two shits i'm saying that they they become apathetic to the work that is being done and the reason is usually one part because in the, the w it, it in some cases it starts out that way some people become developers just because it is a it's a good career opportunity it's nothing more than that it's a job and then they get hired at a company such as well of course the we like to think that this only happens at the really big companies where if you have a really big corporate uh, corporation Usually the biggest problem is to maintain uh, uh, veloci developer velocity and software quality and it is for this exact reason because the bigger the organization the more red tape you have and the more dis dependencies you have the likelier uh, the lower the sh chance is that anybody is going to maintain a commitment to the project because as you can imagine if you need to go through several layers of people just to make a single improvement to your code base even if even if it's a minor one, how motivated are you going to feel uh, uh, to do that? Most developers actually go into monkey code monkey mode when they're working in, as part of organizations like this, where they will simply do like they feel like it is pointless to try to improve things. Or it's pointless to suggest things because nobody either cares uh, or they uh, it simply is so much work to make anything meaningful happen that they lose interest because that's also some something that's in that I think is very interesting and that is that uh, usually the even the idealistic developers will go down this route in many cases they will go from being very enthusiastic and and happy and so forth to just being as i said kind of normal like average not that enthusiastic and it's the same, it, it is literally the same phenomenon you see in people who get inspired by a movie or some concept and then they decide I'm going to be all about this thing now. And they start on Monday and then by Thursday they're back to their old self again. Yeah, because it's actually very, very hard to change fundamentally how, how who you are it takes a long time and being consistent with anything over time that's the true challenge and most developers don't have the energy to do this uh, and that's why I'm saying you're not a bad developer you're simply an average one and it's only really in the in the popular opinion and the way that we project how software engineering works where this is something that we, we pretend as if this is the bad that this is this is what a bad developer is and the normal is supposed to be this person who's super enthusiastic and like goes on stages and talks about tech and so forth guys the this is this is what happens when you allow your uh, you, when you allow 
the best way I can describe it is this is what happens when people start believing in television too much. When you get brainwashed into believing that these uh, these scripted semi reality shows is like that's reality. You wa you like you you get to a point where you start believing that the thing that you see on stage at Google I/O or the thing that you see uh, see on television that's normal life. And you get brainwashed into believing that like and, and uh, to to believing that th things are so much better and so much uh, that, that the requirements and the stakes are so much higher than they actually are they're not it's a collective uh, it's collective brainwashing basically uh, the vast majority of developers guys they really don't they really 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 don't spend all their time worrying about how this how things are going for the project and how they can improve things and so forth they, it's a mixed bag some developers really do care but the vast majority of them are just doing a job and they're perfectly happy with allowing the company to make poor decisions and they won't stand up and fight and try to take the uh, to t take the initiative and do all of these sorts of things they they just they don't give a shit like they will if you if the managers it, it, they they will try in many cases like the good ones some of them really don't care but some of them and those are the ones that i would say those are the good ones these are the good ones the good developers will speak their mind and they will try to suggest and like improve things and so forth and so forth but th what all they do is ve it's very similar to um, to how we look at the power stru the the, the the responsibility between the people and the people in uh, people at the bottom and the people in 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 a position of power, where the peop like the developers will give suggestions to the people who have all the money and make all the decisions. But the problem here is that these people don't actually necessarily know what's good for the code base, so they will create resistance. So now they're asking develop the developers to basically work harder in order to convince them that this is the thing that we should do. And the good developers, they might suggest things and they might push a little bit. But if the company really doesn't want to listen or they feel like, yeah, this is pointless, like nobody ever listens to me, they will lose interest. It's inevitable. The basic, because the, the power structure is that they are not empowered to be able to do things about whatever is going on. And there's a small, small fraction of people, the truly extraordinary developers who have the drive and the strength to push through that. To not only do the thing that the good developers are doing, but to go even further and actually make things change. To be the embodiment of a change that they want to see within a code base and so forth. And I can tell you right now, that is a lot of fucking work. Even in a small startup that can be really hard. In, in a big corporation, it can take, you, you don't even want to know how much it might require you to make a meaningful change at large scale. And I can tell you right now, your coding skill might be sort of important in if you want something like this to happen, but the main thing that's going to dictate if you get this thing through or not is your people skills. So. What I want you to take away from this is that if you've lost motivation at, from, uh, when it comes to working on your project and you're worried that you're being a bad developer, no, don't. The, I think that, I mean, for your own sake, I mean, I can only speak from what I believe. I believe that um, if you really hate, like if you don't like where you work, take a look around. See if there's something that might be more engaging. What usually happens is that uh, quite a lot of people and this is the endless cycle from my perspective, uh, they go into a job, usually in a corporation or some more conservative company, where the code is fairly big or there's a lot of issues and so forth, and they, re they feel like they're not in power, they can't do things and so forth, and then they start looking at some startups, in many cases, because there they are promised to be able to be more autonomous and like be able to be more fast moving and more engaged. And so they move to that environment and everything feels great for a little while, and that company grows to a point where the same problem happens again. 
it's an endless cycle of, because they, fundamentally the expectations of most developers of what they actually want in, in, in their hearts of hearts is to be able to make meaningful big changes whenever pretty much they want and that's only possible in many cases at small scale so that's why it's a problem because if something is successful at small scale well then it grows and the bigger the system the more stakeholders and features you have the slower you're going to move it is inevitable it's it's extremely hard to deal with this sort of problem so if you feel demotivated and you feel bad about it don't because at the end of the day it's the norm for most of the most developers but really ask yourself do I want to work in this company do I really want to go through like this through this thing or do I want to find a company where maybe they haven't gone they haven't gotten as far maybe they found a way of, to make people be able to feel engaged and take ownership and do all of these things because I mean at the end of the day it really comes down to how you feel about it because the company that you're in where you feel demotivated by the project it's very unlikely that you are solely to blame for that situation because it's a very complicated uh, it's a very complicated thing overall to find that balance between empowering and, ga and engaging your workers within the project and getting the company to where it needs to be having those th things in perfect sync uh, that is that is what every single uh, mid-sized to large company is struggling with have a great day